Hello children and welcome to St. Ursula Girls High School and Junior College Nagpur's online teaching module. I, Mrs. Ashtita, will be your facilitator for Science 2. We have already started with Chapter 6, that is Animal Classification. And in this module, we will be dealing with two phylums, that is Platyamentis and Escalamentis. Let us look at the first phylum. The first phylum is Platyamentis. The body of animals coming under these phylums is slender and flat like a strip of a leaf. Therefore, they are called as flat worms. Most of these animals are endoparasites. Now, what do you mean by endoparasites? These worms are used to living inside the body of a host organism. What is a host organism? The organism which provides nutrition to parasites is a host organism. So what are endoparasites? Organisms that live inside the body of a host and for their own nutrition consume the nutrition of the host organism are known as endoparasites. But not all the platyamentis are endoparasites. Few are also free living. That means they can live without the host organism. Their body is aqualomate and bilaterally symmetrical. These are triploblastic. That means their body has three germ layers. That is endoderm, innermost, ectoderm, outermost and mesoderm. That is a middle layer between endoderm and ectoderm. These animals are hermaphrodites. What are hermaphrodites? These animals have both male and female reproductive system in the same body. Example of platyamentis is planaria, liver fluke and tape worm. Coming to the next phylum. The next phylum is Ascalamentis. Body of animals under Ascalamentis is long and thread-like or sometimes even cylindrical. Therefore, they are called as thread worms. These animals can be either free-living or endoparasites. When these animals are free-living, they can be either aquatic or terrestrial. That means they can either live in water, underwater or on the land. The body of these animals is triploblastic and pseudoacalomate. Body of these animals is not segmented but it is covered with a tough thick cuticle. That means an outermost thick layer is present on these animals. These animals under Ascalamentis phylum are unisexual. That means they, uh, uh, they have only one type of sexual reproductive organ in their body. Meaning, in other words, male and female are differentiated in this phylum. Example is Ascaris, that is intestinal worm, Flanerial worm, Lola, Lola, that is eye worm. Before I sign off, I am going to show you two pictures of tapeworm. This is tapeworm and this is eyeworm. Okay children, so here ends today's module. I hope you understood and noted down all the important points. Everything in red has to be underlined while writing the answer. So, thank you for watching. Be safe. God bless you all.